The Duel Arena has collapsed and it looks like Het's Oasis is shaping up to take its place. Hello, hi everyone, what's going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape News coverage video. Today is Tuesday, January 4th, 2022, and we got another RuneScape update for y'all. We're going to talk about that new skilling area north of Alcaraz. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Alright guys, before we get into the main game update, I want to mention that the Golden Party Hat Hunt is officially over. However, if you have collected all 8 of your shards, you still have until January 17th to assemble them and get yourself a Gold Party Hat. So if for whatever reason you're somebody who does have them all, hasn't made it yet, you have a little bit more time, January 17th, before you can no longer create any more Gold Party Hats into the game. With that said, let's look at today's game update, Het's Oasis. This is a new skilling area that replaces is the duel arena and it provides some skilling like a new agility course, a new hunter method where you hunt scarabs with a crocodile, and a new farming method which harvests flowers. This is also home to two new mini quests, the Eye of Het 1 and 2. At the time of this video, only Eye of Het 1 is released. The sequel will be out in a week's time. I've already covered pretty extensively in my previous video about what the different methods give in terms of rewards, etc. So do go over there to check them out or check out that video. For full details. But to give you a quick rundown, the scarabs that you hunt will get you materials to make both a new familiar, that helps with prayer training, and new prayer powders that boost some of your prayers. Farming will give you new flowers that will give you the ability to make honeycombs that will help you on your player own farm. For the first two weeks of this update, there's a limited time event where you can get a bunch of cosmetics like titles, overrides, and pets. There is an individual and a group or community contribution that you can check at the chest at the entrance of the oasis. Again, this is something I covered in my previous video, so head over there for full details if you are interested. This is a members only piece of content, however, free to play can come and check out the area, they just can't partake in any of the activities. There are a couple of comp cape and master quest cape requirements, so do check your achievements tab if you're one of those cape owners. And that's pretty much it, that's all you really need to know for Heads Oasis. Again, check my previous video for further details if you are interested. With that, we're we're gonna now shift on over to the patch notes and see what's changed with today's update so let's go ahead and check it out all right not a lot here in the patch notes section so let's just run right through them the discount percentage in the oddman store now properly displayed over the discounted items instead of just a buy sign an issue occurred where every lap completed in the heaven agility course was counted twice for daily challenges this has now been fixed they fixed an issue with storing and equipping augmented items via the bank fixed an issue that prevented players from progressing the darkness of hallowvale quest fixed an issue where some players would not be able to receive daily challenges and there was a hot fix where Iron Man players will receive the Yak Track Golden Party Hat Shard even if they already have claimed the rewards for Tier 15 before they gain their membership status. That's it for your patch notes. Link to everything discussed in this video will be down in the description below. Head on over there and check them out. With that, I'm gonna wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.